on eBay haul with COVID. I haven't had my normal recycling streams available, but so I kind of got addicted looking at eBay and I got, I think, several nice pieces. I think I'm, I think I have one or two still coming in the mail, but I wanted to share with you the ones that did arrive and unbox a couple boring things first as we do this. So let's start with boring. These two are semi-boring. Uh, let's see if I can get my OBS going. Okay, oh, let's see. Oh yeah, here's my fancy box cutter. This, this, uh, this is probably most boring, so let's start with that. If I know what it is, I'm guessing, of course, but uh, I believe I know what this is. This is a bottle of industrial grade 99% purity isopropyl alcohol. My the bottle I've been using is I've used about half of it, and my Elegoo Mars uh, cleanup tank is 70%. Uh, <clears throat> they recommend 90 or higher, so that's why I ordered this. So, so Elegoo Mars initially. Okay, let me just get this box ready for me get it torn down so I can recycle it. Okay, this one is uh, the Scotch Weld. So, if you know what I've been working on, it's a uh, keycap uh, stem mod. And so, uh, these are actually the two pieces of what I'm doing. Actually, I'll show you all three pieces. So basically, this goes over the top of the keycap. This is the stem I'm trying, the new stem I'm trying to mount. So it attaches to my. Uh, let me get it attached here. Huh. It's so tiny, my eyesight doesn't it fails me quite often. That's the shorter one. Let me get the longer one. Okay, this one, uh, well, I don't know if this is shorter or longer, but. Yeah, go ahead. There we go. So that uh, attaches to this. This rests on the an upside down keycap. And the idea is that if I get enough of these lined up, I might tape them together, I don't know, but it's probably enough to just leave it like that. Cause it shouldn't have any wiggle room in the XY direction and in the Z it's suspended and having it at the right height. So my idea is to shoot glue in there now, <coughs> these holes, and have it bond to that um, female part of the stem. And then it, later when that's hardened, I can just take this top part off. So towards that end, this is, uh, I chose to, or at least when I looked it up, I, was, I settled on scotch weld. So this is the applicator, <coughs> and uh, it's got two different plungers, like um, the 10 to 1 is the one I got, and I'll tell you a little bit more about, so I haven't, I guess, you know. So the whole point of this, I guess, is that it, it makes sure that, the, you know, when you get the stuff from 3M, they have a whole series of these that the, the tube of, you know, the, the tube mix, and they had a ratio of like 10, 10 of these to one of these, and so they make sure it flows the right, right uh, way. So this is, it's all expensive, but it seemed good and like necessary for what I'm trying to do here, so I didn't want to mess around with it. So um, yeah, I'm pretty excited about this. I haven't got the actual glue yet. So of this series, I don't remember the model number, but it was, um, it was one that was very special about bonding plastic, whether it had oil on it or not, or whether it has not been sanded. Um, so that, I thought, I thought it was the best for the scenario I'm in. I don't want to sand all these things to get a bond. And so uh, it's very special for plastic, unsanded or oily, basically. So we'll see how it works eventually when we get to that point. Um, but that's what this is for, is half of it. Okay. Uh, now let me get. Oops. Uh, another boring one. I bought a, uh, a desktop 
saw. It's kind of a vertical saw that goes up and down like that, and it's a tabletop thing, but like that. And it's it's called the Blade Runner 2, but I forget who makes it now, but about 100 bucks. This is a, oh, Rockwell's the one that makes it. So this is a Rockwell crosscut sled. And I just, I don't know, I think I mostly was interested in this because it was for safety. I don't think there's any other pieces in here for packing. But, uh, so basically this, this, so you don't have to keep, you know, the, the thing you're cutting, you don't have to keep your fingers near the blade, you can kind of grab here. I think there still might, you know, it's so wide in here, so it's not going to help you stay the straightest, but it's, I liked it for the safety point purposes, and then I feel like I could probably hold steady for a straight line, is what I'm thinking. So I got sucked into buying this extra part that was like 30 bucks for a hundred dollar, for the hundred dollar uh, little saw that goes on the table. It's very versatile. All right, that's that's that. I believe I'm staring at four eBay computers that, or uh, key, keyboards. So I don't know. Oh, actually, let me have that tape saw. Let me know. You know what this is? No, no, I need four keyboards. So I don't know. Let's just open these and see what we get. <laughs> Here's one. It says eBay on it, so it's likely the only thing I bought there is keyboards, so this is definitely keyboard. I'm gonna kinda go smaller to bigger boxes, I guess. And one, the last one is too big to even fit on my desk. I might back up from I don't know what we're gonna do, it's just, I'll show you. It's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Okay, okay a little hand packed newspaper. Cool. this. Check a lot out. Oh. oh yeah. If we wanted to, we could review kind of how I bid on these things and stuff. Oh. I don't want to get this cord lost. Here's our little RJ45 or 11 or whatever that is. It's a little dated and dusty. That'll be kind of fun to clean, maybe. Um, this smells a little smoky, but to each his own, I guess. Not, not something I don't but... Okay, yeah. Look at this butte. It's a little dirty, but for some reason I'm always, I'm attracted to these old ones. Mostly for their keycaps and and then secondarily for their their uh, the shape of the case and whatnot. Um, I didn't need to get rid of those on this stuff. Looks pretty nasty. Let's see if I can find some. Okay. Put on my gloves because pretty dirty looking. As you can read, it says it's model 925. I'm unfamiliar with the the the, the brand and the model and stuff, but we can maybe we'll flip over to Chrome and look up some stuff about it. Um, yeah, let's make sure. I want to make sure we're still streaming and stuff. Yeah, we're going. Okay. Uh, yeah, this thing's a beaut. Oh wow. Some striations. I don't know if you can see this. Why does it like look like coils? Okay, my computer locked up, but apparently after reboot, we're still on the same live stream. It looks like. <coughs> um, this is kind of cool, you can see new versus old here, but uh, what I think I'm going to do is zoom in with my camera a little bit so I can get into some of the details a little bit easier. Okay, let's, let's take a good look at this and then we'll go back and maybe do some Chrome browser searching so I can tell you more about what happened. Um, 
So as you can see, this is a this is model 945. I, I'm attracted to the large font and the age of this thing and the types of wording on the on the keycaps and stuff. And we'll, we'll take a closer look here. One thing I did notice that I don't think I would have seen in the eBay pictures is I was wondering what this is, and I think it's someone wrote with their pen, like they're doodling, because they seriously doodled here, and there's some, you know, so if I take this up closer, I think you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. Yeah. So that's something I haven't faced before, like how do you get pen marks off when you clean it? So we'll see if good old magic eraser helps with that, or ultrasonic cleaning, or... I don't know what we're up against there. Um, we got the alpha key, the, 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 I mean the uh, shift key, alpha lock, right here, so we kind of the stays down. That's interesting. Okay. That feels pretty horrible. Could it just be a keycap salvage here, or I don't even know what type of switch is there, we'll see when we get. But let's flip it over and take a look at the back and see if we have anything. We have nothing on the back, okay. Super old school, super, kind of an interesting case. It's, it actually feels like the tele Japanese telecom terminal I had, which uh, Sneaky Rob pointed out was maybe air, kind of like bubble air injected plastic, that is what they did back then. Well, this is heavy, but I guess it could be the contents inside. This will be a really fun tear down when we get to that. We won't do it right now, but we will at least take off. Well, let's, let's, let's see if we can do a quick scan of the keys and enjoy at least some of the wording. Set up no scroll, look escape and escape. I don't get why what that means, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Care, insert and delete, line, insert and delete in the backspace. And the clear space, break, delete. And the nav cluster there. The home. Shift with the, what the heck is that, curly braces off to the side there? And here's your short braces. This is interesting. Uh, yeah, one thing, okay, what do we got over here? Uh, funked with a T at the end, funked. That's very funny. Print, shift, back tab, control, tab. That's back tab versus oh, back tab. Interesting. The tab goes forward and gets back tab goes back. Um, one thing I'm noticing is like I guess I felt like the zero nine eight they look white and maybe the I looks white, but then the O and the P and the U they look yellow. So I'm wondering if this is consistent double shot print because my telecom it some were double shot and some weren't. I actually was quite annoyed by that. And so that's not the case with these. So we'll, we'll see when we. Man, this person loved writing on their keycaps. So I gotta figure out how to get rid of pen. Okay, let's take a look at the nav cluster. I mean, uh, the, the notepad. So we got it's got line erase, page erase, send, and zero through nine, and a period and a comma, and an enter, and a minus. No multiplying back in that day. No. Okay, that is cool. It's it's actually quite heavy. The uh, he's feel super gross. I'm not to try without gloves on because he's, I can't quite tell. Well, let's take off a keycap or two and see what it looks like. Okay. So it's got a, kind of looks like a Jerry MX style stem. Man, Jerry. Made cross, but it's not, it's, it's, you can tell that it looks taller or vertical than it is or tall, but it could be because the base is on the rectangle is taller. Um, definitely double shot, gorgeous, uh, thick keycaps. You gotta love that. So here's, yeah, that's a nice, nice thick, wonderfully thick keycap. Man, they made them good back then. Uh, yeah, let's see. Okay, let's try 
try uh, Z, Z, no, Z, Z, Europeans. So it's also double shots. I don't know why those ones would those ones would be yellow. Uh, maybe this is yellow too, but it's just thinner. No, it's no. Let's look like at a more dirty one, like over P. Let's see what this O looks like. Uh, hopefully it's just dirty, because... Yeah, let's, see, well, let's try the next show up too, and see if it uh, gives us any better. Better view of things. Apparently, it's confused at the moment, but trying to figure it out real quick. Must be microscope. Okay. I'm just gonna push. So. So let's try uh, my microscope now can slide up and down and then focus then I can it's all manual and I can adjust the focus so let's see if we got the focus here it isn't shown as much but I can let's see if I lower this thing how, how low we can go and what happens when we do that yeah now we're talking let's see what that looks like. Yeah, I mean, you gotta think that's dirt. So hopefully a good ultrasonic cleaning will get that off. I mean, I don't, like, plastic can't rust, so it has to be dirt. That's a great view of it, though. Again, that's a new, I finally mounted my, this kind of way to move my microscope up and down. I'm excited about it. Um, yeah, all right. Back to the iPhone cam, overhead cam. Okay. Uh, crap, no, 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 no. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful keycaps. That's all I can say. Uh, dirty, but quality, high quality. Okay, let's try. Are we frozen again? Like, why is this uh, iPhone's lagging or something? OBS isn't showing me what's going on. Come on now. Oh, well, isn't that a bummer? Okay. Let's see why. Uh, maybe that's the camera. My phone's working. I don't know. I'm gonna assume that this is still streaming, and that's. I need it. I need that part to work. But for now, though, let's. Set this aside and let's do some Google. Let's see what a 925 is. Um, oh, whoops. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, I think hopefully the stream's still going here, but let's go up and let's go to eBay and let's talk about this for a second. <clears throat> My eBay, I guess I shouldn't be showing my personal oh, stuff, but I don't show. care too much, I guess. Purchase history. So, uh, don't want to give away too much. Uh, it's giving it all away, but let's let's quickly click on the Televideo. So it's Televideo 925. So basically it was, I don't know if, what it was, two, $300, $400? Oh, it had this giant shipping thing, and it was all kind of big and I didn't want that so I basically emailed the guy and said hey I'll take you know what seemed to be a problem like people aren't gonna buy it because two hundred dollars just to ship the heavy weight of this whole thing and so I offered to just get the keyboard and he was kind enough to sell me that for much much cheaper and obviously the shipping was cheaper so. Stuff. so now let's look up uh, Televideo 925 whoops what's going on here 925. <coughs> and uh, hoping we get some info on our own uh, 
the story, but let's add that. Let's see if it's going to work. Don't know why it wasn't. Oh, I think Death Story only had 950s or something. This is why. But, uh, oh, here's one. Yeah, so does this look like what we just looked at? Yes, it looks. This, uh, oh, yeah, it's, a, well, it's exactly identical. So this took some pics, much cleaner, this one than mine, but we'll see after I clean mine up. Mm -hmm. And what, oh, is he <clears throat> calling it a 950, even though mine says 925, look, and it says it on his, but mine looks identical. How about, I was gonna see what the switch, oh, okay. There's some interesting pictures, looks similar to mine as well. That looks similar, the switch types. And some other caps. And, uh, uh, I don't, let's see, complicated Futaba linears is what someone's saying they are, Mr. Beardsmore. Okay. This board has shown up on this already before. So people have, yeah, well, we don't need to go through that, but I was hoping, I do like the wiki, so I'm trying to update it myself when I can, so desk for me wiki, let's see what we got for televideo, and we'll just see if it says anything differently. 910, 925, the, the 910, is had a had a monitor attached to it, but uh, Futaba MD series. So this is my first Futaba switches, I guess. Futaba MD. Cool. Don't know what those are, but or whether people like them. But first case, I love the keycaps. I gotta say that. I guess I'll do the thing that I'm sure it's gonna be no, but I'm gonna say Futaba MD. Compatible with Cherry and X, and the answer is no. Uh, oh, maybe. I don't know. All right. Who cares? Oh, they might be compatible. I don't know yet. All right, that's that's enough of a foray into that. Um, let's switch back to the iPhone. See if it's back to moving. Good, it is. Okay. The only thing I was gonna do left on this one was uh, type on it barehanded and see what. Oh, so much resistance. Sounds pretty cool, but. So heavy, like really hard to push. Um, I don't know if I'm getting lag on this recording or what's going on. I think I'm, should I stop it and restart it? Because my normally when I look at my OBS, I can see what's going on, but it's lagging. So I'm gonna hit. So I did stop and start my OBS stream to see if it would fix. You know, my screen wasn't keeping up with what I was doing, but. I was saying this feels so heavy. It's still lagging right now, but all right, let's try to move on to the next keyboard. That's wonderful. Um, so, like I said, we're going we're going by size. So this is the next size up. Got some big boys coming. I'll tell you that. Give me a warning. Seriously, big boys. Uh, all right, just slide this out the stand. By the way, don't go on eBay. It's addictive, and you spend too much money for things you don't need. But still, I'm happy with what I bought. I don't need it. Hopefully I'll have some fun playing with it. So here we go. Let's get the wrap off of this guy. 
Tiny bubble wrap with the inner and bigger bubble wrap. I wonder if that's the secret. Wow, clean. Even there's a whistle. This thing is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Look at this. Man. I don't know if I can use this. This one. Wow. This is really, really gorgeous. Wow. So clean, so I mean, it's just, I don't think anyone used it. Wow. This thing is, this thing is sweet. Oh, that's an interesting feel. Strong tactile bump, you can almost see my fingers uh, jumping when they, it jumps like so far when you get past the tactile bump. Super interesting. Wow, it feels nice. This is an interesting keyboard. What a Valdox document processor to take things. We got some words up here. I don't know if this is removable. It's very solid. Uh, just, it's just beautiful. Uh, the only thing I'd say I might we don't like is they, they, there's some front printing on the. It, it looks like stickers, but I, I don't know if it is a sticker. We'll, we'll try to look closer and I'll get it. Get some keycaps off. So this is a gorgeous Epson. And it is a... Here's what the back looks like. Uh, the feet. It's got a picture of what the feet can do. Uh, 5 degrees, 15 degrees, or 10 degrees. Satisfying click, and we got <coughs> this says it's a model Q 703D 8A serial number 020206 20,206 made in Japan. Super high quality. I mean, I guess it faxes a tiny bit, but it's screws and it's plastic, but clean, man. Clean lines, clean colors. Love this really light beige, really light with the dark chocolate and then the medium brown. That's, that's, that's some good colors, boy. This thing is attractive. It feels so good. Oh, I love this red stop over here, too. Let's let's take a look at the, the strange names. Ah, I've got to wait for my um, OBS to catch up. It's lagging and why sudden movements I guess I don't know if the internet's slow or why it's doing that but well <sighs> come back internet I guess one thing we can do is switch to uh, switch to uh, uh, Chrome again and we can do some stuff so let's let's zoom in on that uh, let's figure out that Epson. So the Epson, I paid, you know, this, oh, Televideo, I paid 50 bucks plus $20 shipping. And I don't know. Oh, it says, yeah, $77 total. $50 for the item and $27 to ship it or something. I don't know. And tax, yeah. This one, I paid 50 and shipping was probably third, I don't know, 30 or something and then plus tax. So again, so. Under a hundred, under a hundred. These are, I think I'm, these are good buys, if you ask me, but uh, just wanted to share with you about that, I guess, to so get a feel for what I'm getting for, uh, uh, yeah. This is a beautiful keyboard, that's all I know. Okay, let's switch back and see if, uh, my, if my overhead camera is, geez, it's still lagging. I suppose I could get my, my, uh, I could try my, if it's my iPhone, I could try my webcam, but gosh, I guess I'll stop and start the stream as instead. So let me stop the stream. Camera and I didn't need to refresh. Oh, refresh device.
device where you need to make the device. Well, I'm gonna try to stop and start the iOS camera app on here. Give me a second. Well, I'm having trouble connecting. Um, currently having trouble connecting my camera, so let me grab my camcorder and see if I can do it better. Still streaming. Uh, I'm not sure how that works, but we'll see. I have to redo this later. I will. This camera is so dang blurry. I don't know if I can even. Uh, I think I remember in the past I would do some kind of editing to get. Take off autofocus or something? I forget. Oh, this has trouble focusing. Let's see if I bring it down lower if it helps anything. Oh, kind of might. Yeah, I guess it will help us with what we're doing right now, but oh, it's also not filling up. Screen? Does it need to? I think it's fine. I don't remember though what this means. Maybe let's see if I can do this. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, gonna continue as if things are working. Not sure what's going on tonight. So we're looking at this wonderful Epson. Uh, we looked at the back and the feet and this nice cord that looks like, I guess it may have been used. No, it just looks unused right now, but, so I'm gonna, let's do a keycap and see what it says, uh, see what it shows us. Okay, so here's what we're looking at for, this the mount, the keycap mount is interesting. It's almost a circle, but it's got a hole at the bottom end of it. Um, here's the, uh, here's what the, uh, the switch looks like. There's a little slider right here. Slides up and down in the tube. Uh, it's a little dirty under there. 
see some little bit of dirt and hair and grossness, but uh, but man, overall it's clean. Okay, so yeah, you can see it's a some form of strange double shot that usually you see that bleed of the mixture of the two, but this one's maybe it's. I don't know how they could do that, where this is all white and then there's light shines through. So I still think it's double shot, but I'm not quite sure. I wanted to look at one of these that has uh, uh, let's get this on it. I can't tell if that's a, a sticker, yeah. Well, I don't know if it's a sticker. Yeah, this, on this edge you can kind of feel it with my nail, so it's a sticker, but it's a pretty darn good sticker, I guess, but I don't know, I don't like stickers, so I'd probably take that off, it's detracting to me, I don't know why they, it's like on a smattering of keys, like you couldn't tell me why less than, greater than, alt, uh, here's some curly braces and whatnot and uh, pipe and the, but then why the six has a hat or a sense so I guess it was in some trans, there's hat over there I don't know and then what the heck's that plus equals oh yeah we're gonna look at all the key caps and see if we kind of find to see what we got system controls we can stop we can call for help we can copy disk or we can undo file controls we can Store, retrieve, print, index, or mail. Applications, menu, edit, calc, sked, and so on. Draw. Type styles, bold, italic, size, style. Bell docs, document processor. Let's look at the, uh, the uh, numpad here. It's got deck tab, divide times, plus equals, minus, plus. Zero, one through nine, one turn equals. A nav cluster in the middle. It's got some interesting stuff. And then we got our, our, alpha, our normal keyboard area, which not too, not too normal. Graph shift is this weird button to the right of the space bar, nothing to the left except a control way over there. And then we got a shift, a shift lock. And the tab and then over here we got tab set tab release and then mark margin mar release or something okay well got to say it feels like a dream to type on so this wow very high tactile bump I feel great though I really do okay let's uh let us see what good old Dustlady says about this. I keep wanting, this is so beautiful, I keep wanting to literally type on it, but I got it. And think that my uh, browser is going to respond, but the day or, you know, my, my Mac is going to respond to it. Dustlady Wiki. Let's go, let's just start there, and we're going to look up Epson Q103A, what's ours, and look again, Q703D, Q703D is what mine is, let's see if that's on here. No. Uh, Epson. What's this one? Oh, Topra? That's what it kind of felt like Topra, but it yeah. did. The pictures? Yeah, it's not that. Where's Epson keyboards? I don't know, mine's a Q model. Let's just at least glance at this one. It says Alps cream. Well, it's definitely not Alps, so I guess there's nothing to look at there. 
So internet search. What do we got? Epson, 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 Q, yeah, Q703 being keyboard switch. Looks like I've searched for that before, or hopefully before I bought it. Oh yeah, here we go. Cleanup and conversion. That's exactly what I want to see. So, so he's saying it's a Fujitsu board. Yeah, Fujitsu OEMs for Epson Alt and Edson like that too. Not this, but um, I've heard these boards have really nice keycaps. Definitely not what I'm accustomed to using, that's for sure. Photo dump. So this is cool. This is showing the board we just looked at. Let's see, I'm gonna go up top though. It's what date? Oh, this is in February 2019, a year ago, maybe 15 months ago. I'm really excited about this keyboard, I gotta tell you guys. Okay. Uh, let's see when he takes it apart. Oh, okay. This is a little higher number than mine. I think mine is 20,000. Uh, it's detachable, that, that clip. Oh, okay. Here he's taking off some. I wonder if we took out the sliders. It doesn't quite look like. Let's see what it says though. It's got dock store, whatever that means. Any light showing? Where's you gonna, someone gonna talk about the switches or? Oh, uh, snacks. The cat has one that's dirty. Wonder if someone's going to talk about the switches because that's the main thing I wanted to. I was hoping to see what these are, but uh, all right. Let's search on this page for our switch. Hmm. Only mentioned three times, and that wasn't it. So I wonder if um, eBay said it, because I thought, yeah, I'd like to know what kind of switches these are. But actually, if I go back on this search window, what did it say? I was looking for the switch type. Oh, delicious Fujitsu leaf spring. Gen 2 is what people are saying. Maybe. I'd say they're delicious. That's a good way to describe it. Uh, yeah, here's a Reddit. I'm trying to guess what the switch type is. Let's see. That's a totally different keyboard than mine. Come on, people. I have those kind. That's, old, that's Fujitsu with Peerless in it. Um, all right, I think I give up on that, but I'm not going to give up. Oh, maybe I started reading about Chicone because, and then I got on to, maybe it's Chicone and not Fujitsu. I don't know. I'll report back later. I want to see if the eBay link said, see if the eBay link said anything. Epson, not that they know what they're talking about either, right? Very good shape, untested, yes, I can say it. All right, I don't know what it is. I'll look it up and report back later. Let's move on, shall we, to the next one. Uh, we're getting bigger as we go, so i got to make some room for, for these guys. Oh, this one's a big old box. Alright, let's 
See, but hopefully when I get rid of the box, it'll be a little bit smaller than this. I'm not really sure how to open this thing. Looks like a good start. Okay, I'm gonna ditch the image. Wow, power cord of some sort. I think I should be able to lift it out of here and then ditch the box if you don't mind. Hold on a second. Interesting packing job. Shuffle through the paper to make sure I didn't miss anything. Not expecting anything else. Alright. Sitting outside. Okay, well, this one fits in the view of the camera. Let's see. Why is this camera so blurry? Gosh, I'm having yeah, so much trouble. Like, well, it's probably fast. Can you zoom? There we go. Let's see Okay, what do we got here? A blast from the past that I've never done with any idea, but it looks super interesting and uh, we shall see the channel chance champions. Okay. Um this is a little dented. It's a text instrument silent seven hundred portable data terminal. The straps broken over here. I just mostly care about the keyboard and the rest. I'm trying to preserve the funkiness of it. I, I don't. I don't. I've been having dilemmas in my mind about this. Like I just want the keyboard part, and I don't necessarily want the whole thing to maintain what its original purpose was. But and I bought it, so I feel like I should be able to decide that. It's got those interesting old school latches. Okay, oh wow, this, so this fully comes off. Well, ugh, stinks a little bit inside, but alright, look at you got a phone, you can UT phone home, let's see, boom, 9600 baht, I don't know, here's some paper. Wow, oh, it's got an interesting musty smell to it. Alright, this lid wants to open. I don't know if it's broken or well, I can't get it to go back in there. Well, let's take it off then, shall we? Literary translators are amazing. Okay, jeez. What an interesting device. There's a fan back here. Cool things off. Here's the keyboard assembly. Oh, actually. It's linear with some spring. And you can just hear it bottom out, like super loud bottom out. Got some funky stuff over here. Online half duplex low speed. Here is there's, there's a good funky key for you. Here is is what this one says. 
Um, I want to try to get it back together, but I'm not sure what happened there. Let's see if we can nestle it back on there or something. know that I would want to keep all of it as a type of thing, but it's small enough it could slide under a monitor at work and then type on it if you could hook up the output somehow. Let us, uh, I'll see if I can lift it and still see some more about it. Um, so let's see, what do we got here? Escape, control, shift, the numpad overlaying the alphas, uh, rub out, repeat, shift, line feed. That's a lovely red return there. And the here is. And the break. Okay. This is trippy. Wow. Probably the on off. I don't know. I'm going to get the focus to come back down here with us. There we go. Uh, let's take the keycap off see what we got here. Wow. That's a funky. More seeing that. Oh, that's interesting. Here's, a, here's what the inside looks like. So, it's black. So, yeah, I'd say that's double shot. They like I said it looks and feels pretty great. That's funny, here's the zero, there's a o, white O on this. Um let's see what the darker character let's tell you what here is. Is it double shot white and gray? Yes it is. Yeah. I want I should have shown you the switches though. It's good. It's heavy, but I can get it up there. Okay. Let me get it to refocus. Come on, man. Okay, this here is. Yeah, these are some gorgeous, super thick keycaps. Double shot. Okay. Wonderful. Wonderful. This return looks a little orange instead of red, but let's see. Wow, that's quite the interesting key. So it's only, it's got room for two, but it only is using one, and then it's empty next to it, so there's the underside of that one. Super interesting, all these. Another very interesting set of double shot keycaps, very particular. You know, I would like, you know, I guess I'd have to figure out if I could get the get the lid back on eventually, but I'm gonna flip it over and try not to break it. But what's strange is it's yellow on yellowed on the bottom, but not on the top. It's kind of yellowed right here. Like I don't know why. Like it sounds like it's upside down in the sun or something strange. But so. Worst case, though, you take the lid off and reseat this whole thing. And same thing. Um, I don't know. All right, this is second to last. I wanna, I'm gonna set it down, and we're gonna look up. We're gonna look up some info about it. See what, see what else we can talk about. Okay, so this one is the Texas Instrument 745 Silent 700. So this one is a uh, 
I don't think I paid that much, so we'll look at that in a second. But um, here we go. It doesn't really say that much about it. Uh, it comes with a copy of the manual, so they by hand printed the copy of it, but I guess it's better than nothing. Um, but I'm going to go back one because I want to see what I did pay. So I paid 60 plus $30 shipping plus $10 tax. So pretty good deal if you ask me. Okay, um, now we're going to look up it's 745 silent. Yeah. Uh, Okay, and it says micro switch SD double shot molding. This is what I'm talking about. Micro switch Hall effect and APL caps. This is what I'm talking about. Uh, it's my first first Hall effect, uh, which I gotta say does feel similar to. Um, I have two terminals that were Cortron uh, ITW magnet mag valve. This is my first Hall effect. I'd love to. I I'm gonna DMA has been kind enough to help me on some of my previous boards. I wonder if he'd be interested in this one. I have a feeling he might, but uh, yeah, it's it's a wonderful feeling keyboard, and you gotta gotta get it working because uh, man, it's in good shape. The lid's broken and stuff like that, or maybe it's not. I can maybe I can retouch it, but seems in decent shape and uh yeah this guy said he loves the enter key what was it yeah that return this one seems different slightly different but yeah that's that re that red return it's kind of orangish is pretty cool i gotta say okay well might be my first hall effect i'm excited about that okay guess what we're down to one left one one left let's see webcam Actually, this isn't going to work too good. I don't know what I'm going to do here because uh, basically we can't even zoom back enough to see what the heck. I'm going to raise this as high as I can. And uh, uh, try to bring it into view is about the best I can hope for here. But it's going to be crazy. Are you ready? gonna set it right here and tilt it back a bit this my friends is a digital equipment corporation VT 50 when I was in college I think it was VT 100s and then VT 220s and one of the most copied and you know popular emulated terminals in the world well this is second in line second oldest of digital equipment corporations uh, <laughs> the it's missing the seven key which is annoying it's got some cool colors with the blues and the reds and uh, I was reading about it on the wiki and this thing right here the upper upper left corner of the numpad I guess is called a gold key and it's not it was never gold but it signaled to from these terminals to the main system that you wanted to go into edit mode for your document and um, yeah it's blue, but uh, it, and then they said in the future that became known as PF1, like personal function key one. So I wonder if that was literally the start of the, you know, the function keys. But um, no easy way to show this. Let me see if I can turn it sideways, maybe, and fit it on here. 
then we can look at some some stuff, I suppose. Let's see what we can do. No writing on the back or the top. Uh, probably just take the key cap out if I can't find the switch for it. Where is it? Oh, there it is. My key cap, where it is. Oh, well, you can kind of see in there. Uh, DMA went with me to get this one, and I, he said it was mechanical. So I guess it doesn't do me any good to, uh, this presses down, it's a little square box, uh, and it presses down, and there's a couple metal uh, clamps inside that kind of look like this, I guess. But let's take a keycap off, it's very dusty around the sides of it, obviously, this is probably the oldest thing I'll ever have, I'll look it up in a minute, but it's in the 70s, I'm sure. Um, yes, <laughs> that's about the thickest set of dust you could ever ask for or want. Uh, let's see. This, this is the H key. Look underneath, it's got the black and the white. Uh, yeah, strange stuff. Uh, so it is double shot. Uh, it's a beautiful font. Oh, what happened? I got a couple keys off. J and K, J, K, and L. And uh, I took the H off the A, J came off with it accidentally. Uh -oh, H is one of those ones that is symmetric up, upside down in which direction. I don't know if it really goes one way. It kind of seems like it. Let's take off a blue one. Uh, let's try something bigger than a 1U. Okay, it's got one. Whoa. Whoa, trippy. It's like sticking out so far and it's at an angle. Wish I had better lighting for the shiny here. But, um, and a double shot. So interesting. So gorgeous. Wow. That is cool. Wow, it had that big old stem on it. I wonder if other rows. I gotta look at it. Look at, oh, okay. Wow, they angle down. They just like have a serious bend on the keycap. Too. Uh, it's so big and clunky. It's kind of hard to deal with. So I think we'll be done for now. But definitely, a pro it's uh, in bad shape. I would say like when it arrived at the recycler, it was um, that I bought it from that put it on eBay. He said the cables were cut. And it, it's kind of half fallen apart, the case, and it's all kind of plasticky and kind of clunky, but serious piece of history. Um, again, I don't, um, I know how people feel about, you know, that thing, and I don't, I don't, I'm not interested in the, making the whole thing work in the display and plus it's kind of trashed already I'd be more inclined to uh, um, I'd be more inclined to somehow maybe you know obviously you use the keycaps but I'm curious about the switches as well I'd be curious if I could extract the, the whole front part like Cut the plastic so that the keyboard's intact. Uh, another idea is separate the keyboard and the terminal part and maybe put the terminal in a different housing so that, I mean, the monitor so that it's, but if it worked, it'd be kind of cool if, you know, data was passing from the keyboard to my MacBook, let's say, but also the monitor's doing what it was always intended to like cap you know displaying the characters that are going by by the way that one has a 12 characters 80 columns i mean a uh, 12 rows vertical rows 80 columns all caps not even there's no lowercase that's kind of the era we were in uh back then so let's go whoops let's go read about it for a second and see what else we can uh, See if there's some interesting stuff to look at over here on the web. 
Um, so we'll start with what was this you one? You can't play with that. Yeah, this is the one I paid the most for. I paid 160 bucks. Originally it was 250. I got it down to 160 and paid the tax. And I had to pick it up, but luckily it was near me, so maybe that's why I was lucky enough to even get it. Um, it didn't look. It looks worse in worse shape in person than it did in the pictures, I'd say. Other than it's missing a key, one key, which is a bummer. Uh, I don't think we'll know what the switches are. Yeah, it's not even worth looking up because uh, I don't know. I don't think I looked, but it does have it does have a cool history. Oh, the year of it was interesting. Let's see, VT, VT deck, VT fifty. VT50 terminals, yeah, 1974. I, you know, it's a keyboard, it's attached with a monitor, but it's possibly the oldest keyboard I will ever own. Um, Cause it, it was only, I think it was only for, for, you know, oh, it cost a thousand dollars in quantities of a hundred in 1974. My point was they switched to the VT52 you know before the 70s were out and so it, and it might only it might be you know 74 75 and maybe not much later than that but i don't know i'd have to look it up because look at these dates like like when it, this one's in 1979 that's i uh, mentions 52 but all these other manuals and stuff they say 1974 or 75 i guess here's some six and sevens in the 75 but uh if i find a date on it or inside it i'll let you know but uh it's an interesting, interesting piece of history since I typed on, you know, VT100s in college in the 80s. Uh, I didn't know that this, yeah, this is an older, yeah, it's like the second oldest thing they made, I think. Um, yeah, uh, it was a lot of vintage stuff on these eBay hauls this time. Um, Really love most of the keycaps. Uh, man, I think I love three or four. Yeah, almost everything I got there was, I can't wait to figure out, get them working and try to be able to type on them and it'll be a real joy. Okay, uh, thanks for watching and uh, catch you next time.